bring in Congressman Steny Hoyer of Maryland, who serves as the House Minority Whip. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Hi, Ed. Good to be with you, as always. You bet. Uh, okay. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to come all down to Boehner. It seems like there are these six senators uh, who are starting to balk. They want cuts, too. Where are we at this hour as you see it? Well, look, Senator Reid has said they want to do a 90-day extension while we uh, talk about what uh, can be done on a longer term. 90 days to make sure that these 1.4 million people, of which 20,000 are our veterans, who are without their unemployment check, uh, 90 days unpaid for, as has historically been the case. Why? Because it's an emergency. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, stimulating on the one hand and depressing on the other, uh, the economy doesn't make sense. Uh, but we'll talk about that. But right now, we need to pass uh, immediately an extension where we'll get these 1.4 million people with some sustenance so they can support themselves and their family. Yeah, it's a human does, emergency. Does the number of 63 percent of people in John Boehner's district, is that just, is he tone deaf to this? Uh, I, I can't speak for uh, what his thoughts are on that, but it's not surprising, and frankly, that's lower than I think it is nationally. But nevertheless, a majority of people in his district, the majority of people in America, the majority of people in my state and district uh, believe that this unemployment insurance ought to be extended. They know how hard it is to find a job. They know that there are three people yeah. looking for uh, uh, jobs when there's only one job available for them. Uh, and uh, so they know the uh, uh, adverse consequences to real people uh, that this has caused okay. and the agony and pain that's causing. So they want to see us get this done. I hope the Republicans will listen. And by the way, you know, just talking nicely empathizing with people is not enough. Yeah. You've got to do something. Well, uh, uh, talk are, is not enough. Are the Democrats willing to do something uh, budgetarily to make this happen? Where would you find <laughs> cuts? Are you, are you looking at any cuts to play ball with Boehner on this? Look, uh, what we've said, if the Republicans want cuts, uh, they ought to come up with some cuts uh, and tell us what they are, and yeah. we'll consider them. But the fact of the matter is what Reid is saying, and I absolutely agree with the majority leader, when he says, look, we've got to get this done now. You, you saw Murray and Ryan uh, during the budget process talking about offsets and how difficult it was uh, to find offsets. It's tough to find offsets, uh, particularly when we've already reduced by over a trillion dollars over the next 10 years expenditures. We've cut the budget. Yeah. Uh, so what we really need to do now is have a, an immediate action uh, to stop the hemorrhaging, stop this emergency uh, that is occurring uh, uh, just days after Christmas, uh, yeah. days after a celebration of giving and caring, uh, we cut off uh, unemployment insurance. So uh, I'm very supportive of what Reed is suggesting. Do it now, do it for 90 days, and then, yes, let's talk about a permanent uh, a way that uh, uh, we can get this done. Historically, as you know, Ed, We've almost always done this on an emergency basis without offsets. Under, Re under Republican presidents yep. and Democratic presidents without offsets. All right. I want to play a clip from Senator Marco Rubio talking about the minimum wage today. Now, this is something that the Democrats, I know that you want to bring this forward and make it a big issue, address, in address income inequality. We got half the wage earners in this country making under $11 an hour. That's according to Alan Grayson, what he has told me. Uh, and so if, if minimum wage is going to be a big issue for the Democrats, this is what you're up against. This is Senator Marco Rubio. Really, this, this is their solution to what the president has called the defining issue of our time? Raising the minimum wage may poll well, but having a job that pays $10 an hour is, is not the American dream. The fact is, workers don't make $10 an hour right now. I don't even know if Mr. Rubio knows what the federal minimum wage is. But that's the mindset you're facing right now. You know, it, it's it really sad. Of course that's not the American dream. The American dream is to do much better than that, to, to have a, a good life, not just a survival life. That's not what America is about. Uh, but the minimum wage ought to be the absolute minimum uh, that we expect people to People work uh, for a living uh, to make sure that we give them, A, incentives, but much more importantly than that, uh, we give them uh, the opportunity to earn a wage that they can survive on mm -hmm. in the richest country on the face of the earth. That's the issue, and apparently Senator Rubio uh, doesn't get that. 
1010 is a minimum. It's not a, it's, it's not a ceiling. It's, it's not the maximum. It's not what we want people to aspire to, but it is what we, what we ought to do as a country to make sure uh, that there is a minimum. Ed, as you may know, in 1968, in 2013 dollars, the minimum wage today would be ten dollars and sixty cents, yeah. give or take a couple oh, of cents. Well, wage earners are way behind, but I find Senator, behind. I find Senator Rubio's comment very interesting. He admits that the people what they think doesn't matter. I mean, it, po if it polls well. That means that's what the people want. But what the people want doesn't matter to the Republican Party. I mean, he in he indicts his philosophy and his operational uh, process right there uh, in front of the microphone. I, I just think. <laughs> that it polls well because that's what the people want, okay? And, 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 and they're and, not willing to give what the people want, just like the unemployment insurance uh, is exactly what the people want. But the final point here, Congressman, do you believe that if it were brought to the floor in the House, that the unemployment insurance would pass? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think there'd be a Democrat that would vote against it, and I think that there would be certainly uh, enough Republicans. We only need another uh, 18 Republicans to pass it. Certainly, there are 18 Republicans who have the kind sure. of compassion uh, that uh, uh, is necessary to uh, back up the talk that they're instructed to be, emp the empathy that they're asked to display. Uh, they ought to vote that uh, okay. that empathy and that talk. Steny Hoyer, great to have you with us, Congressman. Thanks so much. Thanks, Keep Ed. up the fight. Thank